Hello everyone, myself Dr. Maitresh, uh, working as a physiotherapist at Dreams Rehab. Today I am going to discuss about a topic called uh, shoulder instability. So let's say what, what is about shoulder instability. So basically, uh, it, uh, shoulder instability is mainly seen in traumatic cases. Basically, uh, mostly uh, the cases are seen in traumatic event. And in atraumatic cases, uh, the loss of uh, uh, the strength of the scapular muscles that is at the back so it gets uh, the strength is lost and so the muscle uh, moves anterior and posterior way like uh, it, uh, the sh- shoulder mobility gets increased uh, so uh, for this uh, for this condition uh, we can uh, improve the strength and uh, uh, limit, limit the sh- uh, over uh, range or over mobility of the shoulder joint uh, by strengthening the shoulder. So let's see the exercise of shoulder stability. Firstly, the, uh, the patient will be in sitting position with shoulder uh, flexed at uh, elbow flexed at 90 degrees and also shoulder elevated at a 90 degrees position like this and uh, the elbow is rested with a pillow or whatever support we have. So the uh, shoulder external rotation, the movement is done like this. So the patient will be moving his shoulder back and forth uh, with a dumbbell of uh, 2 to 4 kgs of weight at a count of 10 repetitions. And secondly, uh, secondly with the internal rotation of shoulder so in this the patient will be in sitting position and uh, <clears throat> the elbow will be flexed at 90 degrees and there will be no rest uh, for elbow and the patient will be taking the sh- taking the shoulder to the body level yes so this is also on the count of 10 repetitions So next exercise is as follows, the patient will be in standing position and the patient will be holding uh, dumbbells of uh, 2 kgs to 4 kgs of weight. So the patient will be lifting his shoulder up with with elbow not, not to be flexed only to 90 degrees and the back, okay. Again. So this is to be done at the count of 10, 10 repetitions. The shoulder should not be flexed, mind you. Yeah. Again, lift. Down. Next, the patient the patient will be in lying position with pillow placed under his chest and uh, the patient will be clasping the dumbbell of uh, 2 to 4 kgs of weight and the patient is asked to lift the lift his hand and uh, mo- and take uh, take to his head level that is mobilize the shoulder to head level like this this movement will be done so lift your shoulder yes to the head level yes back can you touch it like this so the patient should not touch the ground the main point of this position is that so that the while doing the movement there will be no adherence of uh, or no movement restriction and the patient will be doing the movement freely back Again, again, yes, up, up, so this exercise should be done at the count of 10. So nextly the patient will be in the prone position uh, with the, in a push up position. So this is for the uh, scapular movement. So the patient will be in the pull 
taller position and ask you to bend down slowly only to the scapular movement level okay you can feel the movement in your back yes let's say this is like a half push up the trunk should not be moved only the shoulder movement should be done this is to be done with a count of 10 repetitions yes back so with these exercises the over uh, mobility of shoulder will be restricted and uh, the strengthening of the shoulder joint and also let's say briefly with the uh, scapular muscles and also will be strengthened uh, so these exercises should be performed at uh, daily with uh, two sessions that is uh, two sets in a day that is maybe in the morning and evening session sessions and uh, you can uh, see the better results with these ex uh, with these exercises so thank you